<laughs> anyway, moving on. So, why don't you talk about this before I go into everything? Am I the only person who thought the Nate Diaz versus Jake Paul fight or Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz fight was a bit of a rug pull? It was a bit of a fucking cash grab. I'm looking back at it, having watched it earlier today because I'm a weirdo. I went back and watched the entire fight. And I think at the time when I was streaming, I think I popped in. Whoever gave me the link, thank you for giving it to me in the Discord. And join the Discord if you're not a member yet. And I checked it out on Discord. I think I might have joined in at about round three or round five. I forgot which one. But I watched the fight back from the beginning. And it was horrible. The quality was terrible. Number one, I was surprised at how terrible Nate Diaz looked in boxing because in MMA especially in UFC Nate Diaz is known as somebody who's got really good boxing who's got really good like hands right obviously his jiu-jitsu is, uh, is like next level but his hands are pretty good and for some reason maybe it's just boxing is just a different because it's just a different sport obviously and maybe because it's a sweet science he just looked really horrible he looked really bad when he was boxing I just that's the first thing I, I remember thinking like wow Nate Diaz just looks like really terrible it kind of reminded me a little bit of why some people don't like Drake's fucking duplicy because he's not he's not like night he's not like good on the eye. He's a bit like ungangly. He looks uncoordinated. He looks like he doesn't know what he's doing. But clearly, he's a fucking high level f fighter in it. But I thought Nick Diaz kind of looked the same way. And then I thought Jake Paul coming off the loss of Tyson against Tyson Fury, um, which some people say he didn't lose, but it could have been a draw. But regardless, it wasn't a good fight either. I, feel, I thought he needed to have a really strong showing against somebody like Nate, who clearly wasn't a better boxer than him. Probably they didn't belong in the same ring. And I thought Jake struggled. I thought Drake struggled to get him out of there, number one. Obviously, he dropped him once. Um, but, you know, he was kind of, kind of, you know, he was kind of crossing his legs, going the opposite way and hitting him back of the head. It kind of felt more like a punch push than a punch that knocked him down, but still knocked him down. doesn't matter. But I thought Jake wasn't that impressive. If I was Jake, I would be a little bit pissed off with myself that I wasn't able to get him out. Um, sorry, not Tyson Fury. I mean, Tommy Fury. My bad. I'm having a fucking Brendan Shaw moment. I mean, Tommy Fury. Um, the fight against Tommy Fury, I thought wasn't that great. Um, I thought maybe Tommy Fury might have edged it, but I would understand if people thought it was a draw. But either way, I would assume because it was a loss on Jake Paul's record, he needed this fight to be a real barnstormer. He needed to come out and prove a point. And when it started and it was very clear that Nate wasn't in the same league as him as a boxer, I thought Jake should have got him out of there and he didn't. Of course, Nate is an easy person to knock out. As I checked on the fucking Wikipedia, I don't think Nate has been knocked out properly in a long, 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 long time, um, let alone being subbed. So I was, I was surprised that he didn't fucking try to get him out there. But then, you know, looking at the record, it kind of makes sense. But overall, it was a pretty terrible fight. I'm not going to lie. It didn't really... I don't, I don't think I've ever come away from these fights with Jake and Logan. Maybe the only one I can think of, maybe Logan did one. I can't think of many of these guys where I've come away from it thinking I should have paid for that because I'm always watching them on fucking, you know, quote unquote illegal streams. I never once watch it and think, oh my God, I should, I should pay for that. I can't, I can't wait to go and watch that live. Never. It just looks like, you know, it's fun to watch in the, in the moment because everyone's watching it online. It's stuff, something to talk about. But it's just, you know, if you're going to, especially after watching fucking... Al Spencer and fucking what's his name Terence Crawford the other day if you're gonna watch boxing you might as well watch people that are really good at it you know what I mean why would you watch like guys that you know are probably the same level as you if you train it doesn't make any sense you're a big up Austin Casey I appreciate you oh my god let me replay that sorry mate I forgot to fucking um I forgot to uh I forgot to fucking uh, put the thing on my sound. Let me play that one more time. Thank you, Dawson in case you appreciate you. One more time. Big up has. I agree that fight was so weird. It looked like Nate couldn't be bothered, like he barely trained. Yeah, exactly. It was just a it was just a strange one. Thank you for the donation, bro. I appreciate you. It was just a strange one. I just don't get it. I just don't get it and I, I don't know. I'm seeing people talking about it and being hyped over it. Jake obviously is really happy because you know, he beat a UFC legend, somebody that a lot of people thought he was going to lose against. So I see why Jake's happy about it. I see why Nate's happy about it. They both got a payday. But I think as an advertisement, you know, are, are any of you guys rush? Do, anyway, let me ask you the chat. Do any of you guys pay for this? Have, have any of you guys paid for the pay-per-view to watch this? Are any of you guys curious to go and watch it live? Let me know what your thoughts are in the in the in the chat because maybe I'm talking out my ass because I'm I'm not really a boxing guy. I just watch stuff casually, so maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. What, what are you guys saying? Because I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was fucking terrible, man. Really, really bad. Like 
horrendously bad. What are you guys saying in chat? No, always on a crack stream. Never pay, says Richie. I buy all Jake fights. See Alien Watch. Hell no, says Quola. Okay, fair enough. I stream every. I stream every illegally. Back <laughs> up on. I stream it all illegally. Um, Austin Casey says I pay for good UFC cards, but I didn't pay for this. Yeah, I pay for UFC because I've got um. Oh, good, good point, Austin. I've got um. In the UK, we've got fucking um. Our UFC is with BT Sports. So I've got a BT Sports like web thing that I log in that I use to watch the fights and you can watch anything like TV and shit. I mean like, you know, football and whatnot. And that's pretty good because most of the UFC cards on pay-per-view you get for free included in that. You get for free, I'm still paying it per monthly, but I'd have to pay for a pay-per-view, you know what I mean? I watch the pay-per-views and the fight nights. So that's pretty decent. Um, and I would be more than happy. I would be more than happy to go to a fucking PFL, Bellator fight, mixed martial arts. I'm not going to get my money's worth, but with these influence of boxing things, Jake could have beat Tyson in his prime three times in a row. <laughs> TNT Sports now. But that's what paper I bought was Tyson Holyfield. Wow. Crash. That's a long time ago, isn't it? Fucking hell. Yeah, I think the last... Oh, sorry. The last pay-per-view I think I technically paid for was... Um, when Anthony Joshua beat Klitschko. Do you remember that inf infamous fight where he uppercutted him and Klitschko's neck sort of looked like it was going to kind of pull away from his shoulders? That was the last one because I remember we went to go watch it in a pub in the local area that I live in and you had to kind of pay essentially like the pay-per-view price to get in. So that was technically the last pay-per-view I paid for was that Joshua-Klitschko fight. Um, that was a really good fight, man. That was a really good fight. That, that might have been Anthony Joshua's best performance ever, to be honest. That might have been his best performance ever. That was really good, man. That uppercut, I just remember that uppercut, like, seeing Klitschko's face in the rewind, like, his neck literally looking like it was going to rip off from his, his head, look at his rip off from his fucking shoulders, it was incredible, but, um, yeah, I wouldn't pay for it to so stay away, the only fight that was um, interesting was the one with the actual boxer, the one with, that he lost, yeah, exactly, <laughs> what a good point, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, it's, I think, to be honest, to be fair to them, though, to be fair to these guys, I think what they've cracked is something that Brendan hasn't cracked. It's that freaking likability thing. And I think someone said it before. Who was it? I think it was Gucci Mane. This is a really stretch to say this, right? But I think it was Gucci Mane. Gucci Mane, I remember, there was a time when Gucci Mane, I think even before he got skinny, when he was, because I think now he's sort of like chilled out with the releases, but before he was skinny, he was a bit fatter and stuff and he was on drugs and whatnot. He would drop all the time. Maybe because of the drugs, maybe because of just his work ethic, it doesn't matter. And maybe now because he has a family, so he doesn't really drop as often. But I remember there was a time where I forgot who asked him. No, actually it was when he was skinny. I think it was when he was starting to get to working out. I think it was Charlemagne in an interview. He asked him something like, oh, why don't you have more like quality control? Why don't you like chill out with the releases and then just release everything like in one big album at the end of the year? Why are you releasing like three albums in one year? And I remember Gucci Mane basically saying something like, along the lines of like, why not? If my fans like me and they love what I do, they'll want to hear new music from me whenever, like as, 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 as much as possible. They're always going to listen to my new stuff. So I'm only making music for my fans. And I was like, yeah, that's actually a good point. So I think in this world of like, influencers and content creators if you like jake paul if you like all these other influencers that fight logan ksi you don't care what they do you don't care if they bungee jump you don't care if they try their hand at nascar if they try to become golfers professional pool players they try to you know um, become fucking endurance athletes crossfit you're gonna watch it because you like them as people so i think that's what they've cracked and they've done it really well and obviously they've monetized it in a big way they've got their own fight promotions they've got you know gear they sell off the back of it training programs it's a really smart thing i think it's the one thing that again just to mention brendan because you know we talk about him a lot on here i think that's the one thing that he has never really figured out you know like if you're likable you could get away with murder like no one actually this is the thing no one actually cares that brendan's not funny it's just that he's not likable he's like he comes across like a douche but if he was actually likable him being not funny would be kind of funny in itself it'd be kind of endearing people would kind of root for him but because he's fundamentally a very unlikable person it's hard to root for him and to want him to succeed um you know look at the fucking whiskey if brendan was likable people would be buying the whiskey even if they didn't drink just to support him you know like hey i support you i don't give a fuck about whiskey i'm just gonna have this on my shelf but i bought it just because i'm a big fan of yours people do that all the time with celebrities you know what i mean so it's like one thing that I, i'm not sure why he never realized that um but then i guess in his sense in his eyes he probably doesn't think he's unlikable he probably thinks we're all fucking idiots 